today uh, we're going to talk about open tuning. If you followed my channel at all, you will realize that I play everything in open D tuning. I've been doing open D tuning since about 2006. And I did it primarily because the band I played in required slide. And I had no idea how to play in slide. I really play slide at all. And a bandmate of mine uh, dropped my guitar into open D tuning and said, hey, let's go for it. And so on a tour in front of an audience, I learned how to play slide guitar in open D. So I really adopted that as my, uh, the tuning that I play in. Uh, and most people will relegate open tunings to slide guitar, open G, open E, uh, open D. Um, or they'll relegate it to singer songwriter chordal uh, stuff. It's just you know for writing songs, it's you know it's you've got a droning note in there, and that's always great. But uh, I've adopted it as my tuning because I didn't want to carry a bunch of guitars with me when I played, and I just over the years have learned. I've taken some lessons from Joey Landreth. And Joey opened up a ton of ideas for me. He just kind of explained uh, almost the caged system in open tuning for me. It's not caged because we know what cage stands for in, in standard tuning, but it's very similar. Uh, so today I'm going to play a little bit in open tuning and in standard tuning and kind of compare the two and see if we can kind of match what they do. So here we go. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some uh, some A, A minor. standard. A minor chord up there. See, this is this is my this is what I'm going to try and do this year. Is I need to relearn how to play in standard tuning and playing. You know, pentatonics is pretty. You know, that's it's pretty interchangeable. Chord stuff is way different though. There's a, there's a lot of advantages to playing in open D, and there's a lot of disadvantages. And I need to learn how to to manipulate both of those where where you know in a this this a minor here see it open tuning I want to go to a certain note there and I, I have to think and what that does is it, by making me not play the pattern it's teaching me, okay, there's the third, there's the minor third, there's the seventh, there's the minor, you know, there's the, the flat seven. That kind of stuff matters when you get more into music. And I've been studying a lot lately with, you know, I've been reading books and, and one of the books in the Bible that I read is Ecclesiastes. I haven't read it in a long time, but I'm reading a book about that. 
And it talks about sometimes the, the more you know, the more messed up it gets. You know, the more you learn, sometimes the, the just more information sometimes is not good. But in this case, it kind of is. Like you want to learn and know more as you as you progress and get better at guitar. So uh, keeping this kind of short today, it, you know, D, we'll play D. <laughs> in D I feel much more comfortable I'm not kind of looking at the fretboard guessing uh, as I did with open tuning so for me uh, I'm going to grab a guitar and open tuning I'm going to know exactly where it's going and I always laugh about this because I go into a music store and I grab a guitar and standard tuning and I feel like a bumbling fumbling stumbling idiot I'm like uh uh I don't know what to play so Part of this lesson is for me to, to grab a, a standard guitar and learn to be able to intertwine between the two. So I hope you I hope you like this short uh, video today. If you do, hit the bell, uh, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried to play in open tunings and if you ever want to play in open tunings. Uh, I think I think they're valuable. I think it's really cool. Uh, if you follow Joey Landreth at all, the guy plays an open C pretty much exclusively. Uh, Ariel Posen does the same thing, and they create some really cool, you know, soundscapes and landscapes. And they're not, you know, it's not just cool. You know, you can play blues, you can play pop, you can play, you know, jazz. There's jazz chords. I mean, you can play. <laughs> That's not overly jazzy, but you know, any major seventh course is jazz to me. So anyway, uh, again, click that subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments, did, are you playing in open tunings? Do you want to play in open tunings? And if they are, what tunings do you want to play in? So anyway, take care. Bye.